You remember Diane Barrett? She was the lady that was on CBS News that was mad that her own insurance was canceled. Now, Mrs. Barrett, she had actually paid $54 a month for her, quote, insurance plan. Yes. And that's, of course, till she got her cancellation letter. She was upset. She was told that she needed to buy a plan by her insurance company that would cost her more than $500 a month. And they told her, well, it's because of Obamacare. Sorry, Obamacare is making you have this, buy this really super, super expensive insurance. Not our fault. We didn't do it. Blame Obama. Right. Okay. Now, during that CBS interview, she had said, what, what I have right now is what I'm happy with. I just want to know why I can't keep what I have. Why do I have to be forced into something else? But like I said, she had junk insurance. Her plan, I mean, her insurance plan really wasn't even insurance. It only paid $50 towards doctor's office visits and a few other outpatient services. Didn't even cover the hospital visits. And you wonder why it was only $54. Okay, this was a really bad insurance plan. That wasn't even insurance. She was basically flushing her $50 a month down the toilet. If she had gotten sick, that would have been the end. She would have been ruined financially. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise. And that's what she actually had said. Now, Jonathan Cohn, down at the New Republic, he actually got involved and helped look up some plans for her. Now, he found one for about $440 a month. And this is the Obamacare healthcare exchanges, healthcare.gov. But wait, she was actually eligible for a subsidy. How much? Because her plan would have been $440. Now that's way more than, 50, than the $54 she was paying. Well, she was eligible for a subsidy of $331 a month. Now, that's according to the Kaiser Family Foundation. They've got a calculator, a subsidy calculator. So if you're really curious about how much you might qualify for for a federal subsidy, go to the Kaiser Family Foundation website and go to their calculator. They will figure it out for you. So with all of this, the subsidy included, she would actually pay $100 for a much, much better plan. More expensive, yes. But is it better quality? Absolutely. This one actually covers hospital visits. And that's not the only plan that was available, of course. There was a silver plan. A silver plan actually covers a lot more. Well, how much? How much is it? Well, it's about $150 a month. $100 more than what she was paying, but it also covers a lot more. So when she was actually showed some of these options, her response, and I love this, her response was, I would jump at it. With my age, things can happen. I don't want to have bills that could make me bankrupt. I don't want to lose my house. Nobody does. And that's the problem. With a lot of these junk insurance plans, you would get sick, find out that your insurance really didn't cover squat, and then end up bankrupt. 60% of all bankruptcies now are from medical bills. And I'm not saying that the health insurance plan, the health insurance mandate, the Affordable Care Act will solve everything. It won't. And I'll get to that later. But first, let's have another success story. Gail Roach is a 57-year-old woman living in Pittsburgh, and she has a pre-existing condition. Well, she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Now, her retirement health care was actually costing her over $500 a month. Now, she decided, I want to check out this whole Obamacare thing. See where it will get me. Now, she wasn't actually able to log on to the site because the site's a mess. Everybody knows it. Fox News knows it, and they're having a heyday with it. 
And hey, look, when you spend so much money on a website, you want it to work. So I understand people's frustration. I had my own issues with healthcare.gov, with the website itself. But a bad website doesn't necessarily mean a bad law. So keep that in mind. She wasn't able to log into the site, but, but there were call centers that were available for her to call. So she called one of those centers and actually found a plan that would cost her $70 a month. Now that is quite an improvement. Now, it's probably one of the bronze plans, which is the cheaper plan. Her monthly premiums with a tax credit and something called a cost sharing plan, her premiums went down to $1.11 a month. $1.11 for health insurance. Now look, she told WTAE, which is a station down in Pittsburgh, that, quote, I'm telling people that they need to look into this. They need to be patient about it. If you go on the website and you can't get through the website, call the number that's on the website and just be very patient because it's very much worth it. I think that's really, really good advice. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. If you want to see more, go to our channel at youtube.com slash TYTNation. And if you really want to support the show, support this channel, go to our fundraising campaign at www.patreon.com slash TYTNation. The website is in the description below. Thank you guys and keep watching.